Hello everyone. Welcome to the next session of SAP HANA online training tutorials. In this session, I'm going to explain about what are the deployment options we have for SAP HANA. So in the sense, how HANA as a component can be fit in into customer existing landscape. So what are the different ways we can use HANA in the existing landscape. So as I already explained in HANA introduction video, majorly HANA is a database which has the latest hardware innovations in it. So HANA can be used as, as a database to the existing applications. Let's say you have applications in your landscape that are running on a traditional database. So in such cases, you can move your applications into HANA database. So for example, take SAP BW system, which is a data warehousing application. So till now, SAP BW will always run on traditional databases like Oracle, IBM DB2, or Sybase databases. So now what you can do is, instead of using traditional database, you can use HANA as a database to your BW application. So from front end point of view, everything looks same, but at the back end, you are going to get that in-memory platform where it can really boost your uh, data warehousing system. So HANA can be used as a, a database to the front end applications that are already running on traditional databases. So some of the examples are like SAP BW or SAP ECC or even your um, CRM system or BPC system or any of the uh, mobile applications or whatever the third party applications that are running on traditional database you can run on HANA and the another advantage with HANA is like let's say you have a website uh, which is having huge traffic that is running on traditional database that is fetching data from traditional database that also can be moved to HANA because HANA supports a web components it has inbuilt a web engine which is called access engine we'll talk about different types of engines in architecture uh, lesson but now just to give you introduction it has inbuilt a web engine which can support the web applications also which means whatever the applications web applications you have which are running on traditional database can be moved to hana platform so this is one way of using uh, hana the other way is building your a data warehousing platform or building your analytics platform with hana that is called sap hana enterprise enterprise system where HANA is going to be your um, a main component in the landscape and you are going to use the tools around HANA to build your analytics platform. Now let's get into our pictorial representations. So this is the first type of uh, using HANA which is SAP HANA as a database. So as I explained you can use HANA as a database to your BW or ERP, CRM, SCM, whatever the applications that are currently supported, you can use HANA as a database to that. And the next thing is HANA enterprise system where you are going to build your analytics platform around HANA appliance. So in that case, now you have SAP HANA in your system we can I can explain here itself so you have HANA here okay now when you have HANA it's primarily database and which has a modeling capabilities as well which means you have an, a software that can be used to build a modeling objects or to manage your uh, platform or to manage your HANA system which is HANA studio so you have HANA studio here so the first component is the first thing is going to be how you are going to bring data into HANA. So there are different ways. As I explained in the first session, HANA supports for real time data replication and it also supports for batch loading, which is by default standard feature that you get with any database. So if you want a real time replication, 
you can go with real-time replication or if you want standard batch loading you can use any of the ETL tool but SAP suggest uh, you go with SAP data services as an ETL tool but you can also use Informatica as well as an ETL tool and when you are looking for a real-time replication you can use either SLT which is SAP landscape transformation or you can use SRS which is Sybase replication server Sybase replication server or if you have some flat files in your desktop which needs to be put in your HANA system you also have flat file loading option straight away in HANA studio which can be used to load data into HANA from your desktop flat file loading so these are data provisioning techniques so these are the data provisioning techniques you have in HANA enterprise system so you can use any of these three data provisioning techniques to bring data from different sources to HANA platform once you have HANA data in HANA the next step is going to be applying your business logic or applying your transformations so that can be done using modeling objects in HANA so those modeling objects can be created using SAP HANA studio so SAP HANA studio is going to be software component for HANA platform so software component for HANA platform which is Eclipse based tool using which you can manage or you can maintain or you can do all sorts of operations on your HANA database so you're going to build all the modeling objects in HANA studio so once you have the modeling objects available in HANA studio the next step is going to be how you are going to access those modeling objects to build reports on top of it so for to create reports on HANA models SAP suggests to go with business objects reporting tools so for reporting it's SAP business objects a reporting suit it's like how you can connect different reporting tools with HANA and then in business objects how to build universe then how you can build reports on top of uni universe all those things comes in a reporting section so in between we have got modeling section here okay so these are the different components we'll be using in HANA enterprise system so this is the enterprise platform so these are the two different ways that you can use HANA as a component in your uh, landscape either you can use it as a database to the existing applications or you can build your own analytics platform using HANA as a major component in that so now we talked about how, what are the different ways of using HANA now what are the different deployment options we have so we have four different deployment options either you can have HANA on-premise like you can have your own installation in your uh, data center or you also have an option you also have a cloud option for HANA so you have HANA enterprise cloud you have HANA one you have HANA cloud platform so we'll discuss about what are the advantages and disadvantages you have with these four different types of deployment options now the first one is on-premise so I mean as we are discussing HANA is a in-memory platform obviously it is going to be expensive when you compare with a traditional database platforms you have because it's a, a total RAM database so it's gonna be expensive installation or if you want to have on-premise HANA system it's going to be expensive and you need to have your own resource to maintain the system so the advantages you get with 
on-premise system is it's all in your hand but the disadvantages are going to be it's a bit expensive and you need to have your own resource to maintain the system initial installation and configuration will be done by the hardware vendor from where from whom you buy the database but once the initial installation is done you need to have your own resource to maintain and support that platform in your uh, location so that is a bit disadvantage if you if you don't have that much skillful resource so provided that or even if you feel like you know you don't have that much of data where you buy your own system and install it in on premise you can go for cloud option so sap provides hana enterprise cloud which is hec so where all the infrastructure will be maintained by sap so they'll have their own data centers which can be which can be used by customers so it's all a subscription based you can pay per month you can pay so much amount per month to use that platform <coughs> and let's say you have a bw application in your uh, data center and you want to move your bw application to the uh, enterprise cloud where you are working so that also supported by sap so you can move your own application to cloud platform or if you don't have application in your uh, data center you can also take subscription for a new applications as well from sap so you can you can take subscription for bw on hana so you can take a subscription for hana enterprise you can take subscription for ecc on hana so there are different options available and everything will be maintained by sap and you also get expert support from sap but the disadvantage is the disadvantage part is going to be you want to you have to move your data out of uh, your data centers which means your data is outside the world so there should be some data security issues but you have to you know trust the partners or trust the provider from where you are going to use your cloud system so the trust should be there that is the disadvantage that you get with this but the everything installation everything will be done very quickly so you are going to have your system readily available within hours or within days from the time you are i mean you have chosen for subscription so this will be maintained by sap the next one is sap hana 1 so sap hana 1 is actually from third party cloud vendors like your amazon or cloud share or there are different uh, cloud vendors available who will provide hana system maybe small um, small size hana systems so from where you can go for subscription this is also like you know it it will be per month or per hour usage based and most of the times this will be used as non production system when it comes to hana enterprise cloud this can be used as production your production system where you can load your um, daily day to day operations into that and you can do the analytics but most of the times hana 1 will be used as non productive where if you want to do any proof of concept or any small testing system kind of thing you can go for hana 1 but recently only amazon web services has got a production license for their hana 1 environment so it's all like your uh, <clears throat> on premise installation so the advantage is going to be your data center but the disadvantage is expensive and need of skillful resource second is enterprise cloud platform which is hec maintained by sap easy to install and expert advice from 
SAP and it's a cost effective. Disadvantages your data is in other data other data centers. other data centers and this can be used as this can be used as production system okay now the next one is HANA 1 HANA 1 platform by third party third party cloud vendors most of the times not recommended to use as production system this is going to be the disadvantage but the advantage part is can be used for test system with um, less size like 64 GB a small system most of the times all this HANA cloud HANA enterprise cloud systems are going to be like 512 GB or it's going to be multiplication of 512 GB this is going to be your small system and then you can have 1 TB with uh, 2 512 GB nodes multi node system or 2 TB with uh, 4, 5, 12, something like that. So, this is going to be multiplication of 5, 12. When it comes to HANA ones, you are going to have very small systems because these are going to be for a test, you know, for, to test or to create some uh, POCs. So, best suited for proof of concepts, proof of concepts and testing. Okay. So, disadvantage is again not recommended for production system and security and data security okay then the next one is hana cloud platform so hana cloud platform this is also again from um, sap but this is kind of hybrid platform where you can run both your cloud applications as well as on-premise applications on the same platform so it's like in enterprise cloud you have to bring your own applications also into cloud but here in HANA cloud platform you can run your own applications from on-premise on-premise on the cloud HANA or you can also build your own mobile application something like that in the cloud platform itself it's like both on-premise and cloud so this is going to be hybrid platform so the same advantages and disadvantages applies as of uh, enterprise cloud so these are the different deployment options that are available with uh, HANA and the disadvantages and advantages of it so to summarize what we have learned in this tutorial or in this session is we have seen how HANA can be used as a component in the existing landscape like as a database to the existing applications or building your new analytics platform around HANA appliance and we have also seen what are the deployment options available for HANA like on-premise installation or cloud application uh, cloud options like enterprise cloud which is HEC or HANA 1 and HANA cloud platform which is HCP and we have also seen what are the disadvantages as well as advantages with each uh, different type of deployment options available thank you for watching have a good day and happy learning